Hey everybody, little bit of a location shoot here today. Um, I'm gonna show you a setup that I've used recently on a couple of boxing events where I've taken central control and used that to put controls for my TriCaster's downstream keys onto an iPad so that we could take uh, the onus off of the TriCaster operator from turning those downstream keys on and off and hand it over to our audio engineer since he had time to actually trigger these things. It allowed our TriCaster operator a little more time just to focus on the camera shots instead of worrying about turning off and on a timer or sponsor logo. So I'm gonna show you uh, how it works right now. So here's the TriCaster and you can see I've got the iPad set up there. That's not where it would be because what would be the point? We actually had it over by the audio engineer over here. Um, but I've set it up here just to show you what we were doing. So we had a couple of lower thirds and we had them in uh, DSK1 and DSK2. And specifically DSK1 was our countdown timer for the rounds and DSK2 is our sponsor logos. So you can see here's my iPad. There's my timer fade and my sponsor fade. Um, and you can also see these two buttons, previous and next round, which you'll actually see I can jump through the uh, GFX2 bins by using these. So I'm just gonna show you what happens. If you watch my DSK1 and my DSK2, you'll see them turn on and off. So here's DSK1. And you can see it actually came up here. Um, you don't see the timer because the timer is not on right now, but you do get the graphic that went along with it. So let me turn it off. Off. Great. And now let's do our sponsor fade. Awesome. There it is. And let's turn it off. You can actually see it happening here too. Now watch me jump through these bins. Look at that. Look at that. Forward, back, which is great. This was, you know, round one of one, round one of two, two of three, whatever it was. Um, and it just allowed us to have the timer up, which says which round we're in, and then jump like this um, so that you didn't have to turn it on and off each time. So now that I've shown you the actual functioning workflow, I'm gonna show you how I set it up in Central Control. So here we are at the central control computer. I've moved the iPad over and you can see that it's the same thing I have up on screen here. I'm just gonna reposition the camera for a second uh, so we get a better look at things. So let's have a look at central control. This screen is the actual web panel builder that I used in central control. So you can also use this window to control. So you can see I'm doing it there, but it's also reflecting on the iPad. Um, see, everything works. You don't have to keep this window open if you don't intend on using it on a computer. We had it open in the background as well, just in case. Um, but I'm gonna close this for now and just show you the interface here. So there's a bunch of stuff on here that I'm not gonna talk about right now. It's other stuff that we had either on the last event or the previous event. But what we're concerned with here is our TriCaster and our web panel. So under the TriCaster, you have to know the IP address, the username, and the password in order to connect. Uh, in this case, my IP address is 192.168.1.100. So as soon as you have that in there, you turn it on, and you can see down here, TriCaster enabled, and we know that it's good to go. And web panel, um, you don't have to connect it to anything. It just needs a port, um, which it'll do by default. You can change if you need to, um, but you just add it and then turn it on. And if you're not sure how to add a device, you come in here, and then you can just scroll through. So if I hit N, it takes us to NDI and the new text. So this is where I added the TriCaster. And you can see that the TriCaster is actually available on the introductory version of Central Control. So the, the cheapest tier version. Unfortunately, um, now we need to go to Central Control. You can see that web panel is actually elite. That's from their top tier. But honestly, it's a one-time payment and you get the same kind of controls that you get from New Text Live Panel, but Live Panel is a subscription model and this is a one-time payment. So if this is something that interests you, it's probably well worth the cost. Anyway, that's how you add. You, uh, you would pick the device and then click OK. I don't need to do that. Okay, so I got a brand new um, file here. 
so that I can build it from scratch and show you what it looks like. So we go into our web panel builder and it's gonna ask us to create a button group. So you click the button and I wanna have two rows and two columns. So we click save and there you can see we have our four buttons. Um, what I'm going to do is name this. So I right click on it and we're gonna call this, oh gosh, what did I call it? I called it timer fade. Um, and you can set your colors here. So I'm gonna set it to be uh, green when it's on and red when it's off. Apply to all, apply to all. Um, it's not gonna do anything yet because we haven't set anything else up. So I'm gonna name this one as well. And we're gonna call this sponsor fade. You can see the colors are already applied, close that. And I actually had these buttons as different colors before, so maybe we'll change that. Um, but we're gonna call this previous round. And let's just change it to, uh, uh, hell, you know what? We're gonna leave it for now. And we're gonna call this one next round. Okay, so those are set up. We can close this. And now we're gonna go into controls. So we've got our buttons. You can see the four buttons that we just named listed here. And we've got our TriCaster in the uh, other device down here in the command window. So I'm gonna choose timer fade as the first button. And what I actually want to do is go over to TriCaster and do Auto DSK. And I'm going to tell it to do DSK1, which it's already set up to do. And then I am going to click Add. Now I'm going to go to Sponsor Fade. And I am going to do the same thing. Auto DSK, but I'm going to change this. This is actually, you know what? I was saying that this was our DSK2. It isn't. It's actually our DSK3. That's my bad. So we're going to set that to DSK3 and add it. So those two are now added. If we just go out and have a quick look, let's go to our web panel builder. You can see that now they are actually activated. And I'm looking at the TriCaster window and it is indeed turning them on and off to show you so that you know I'm not fooling. There's the timer turning on and off and there's the sponsor mode turning on and off. I wouldn't lie to you. Okay, so we'll close this up again and then what we want to do is set up our other two buttons. So let's go with previous round and what we need to do is find DDR back. So here's DDR back. And in this case, we're gonna change it from DDR1 to GFX2 because that's where we have those slides. Plus adds it in, go to our next round button, and we're gonna do, you guessed it, DDR forward. And we are going to set that to the same graphics too, which it already is, so let's add that in. And that should be it. Let's go back into our web panel builder. And that is working. I didn't change the colors, so maybe I will do that. But you can see here, let's go next round, next round, next round, next round. Previous round, previous round, previous round, previous round. Look at that, it works. So let's just change the color for fun. Let's change this to, I think I had it as blue before. And I think I had it just as um, the same for on and off. Let's do that. Blue and blue. Interesting, it's not actually... What did I miss here? I don't want it to be that. So let's change the default. Maybe that's the problem here. Yep, that's the problem. Let's change the default to that. Okay, so now this isn't going to do anything other than outline itself when it's depressed. If you want it to have a different color obviously so you know that it it is active you can do that by all means you don't have to do what i did but this is how it works so we can leave this open now if we want but i'm going to close it because i want to show you how to actually connect um, another device like your ipad uh, oh you know what i need to keep that open my bad so see this button right here generate link we're going to click that and that actually creates a little web page 
at this location with a port number. So you can copy the link and send it somewhere or paste it somewhere. But what I'm gonna do is use this QR code. Um, I already have, oops, let's open it up. I already have this, but we're gonna close it because it lost connection anyway. And let's go to the camera, hold it up to QR and we're gonna open in Chrome. And look at that, that brings us to here. And look, you can see it happening on the screen as well. Boop, boop. And you can't really see anything there. That's my bad, I didn't change the colors. Otherwise you'd be able to see it, but I think you can take my word for it that it's working. And that is how you set up a web panel in your TriCaster. Success! So that's it, that's how you do it. It's pretty simple, but man oh man, does it open the world of controls. There's so many other things you could do with the web panel. And honestly, you should probably think about picking it up and investigating uh, all the options that you have. I'm gonna have some more videos with some other controls, so stay tuned for that. And I hope this was enjoyable. If it was, please like, subscribe, uh, share, you know, all the usual stuff. And just a reminder, we are now on Patreon. So if anything we do here is helpful or even just entertaining and you wanna help support the channel in some way, you can check out our Patreon page. It'll be linked all over the place, um, but it is patreon.com slash quickies. All right, until next time, thanks for watching here on Quick and Easy Quickies.